What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we've got ourselves some Battlefield 5. So, this was requested a couple of times by people and I got two different versions of it to do though. We're going to do it, well, technically four. We're going to do maxed out, pretty much ultra. Then, we'll also try lowest, just competitive-ish settings. Then, we'll also do my settings and get a little camera gameplay with my settings at the very end. So, now, I already kind of messed up today and accidentally did Battlefield one and then I looked at the thing again I was like ah son of a bitch he said five not one so that was my own fault I downloaded the wrong one but still gonna keep the footage and whatnot I've recorded did all the work so might as well keep it and turn it into a video later but after I noticed my my mess up I decided nope we're gonna come back and do it right that's more important to do the one that guy the guys actually requested not one that was not <laughs> so here we are so without wasting any more time let's go get this thing hooked up to the capture computer and we're gonna do 1080p and then when we're done with 1080p we'll go and do 1440 P2 because that was requested. So now to the capture computer. Well, now it's time to do a little Battlefield 5. So we're going to start off at 1080p since this is not a Steam game. I can't test the Steam Deck out. So there we go. We're at 1080p and we're going to start off on Ultra. We're just going to do Ultra. We will do low competitive settings and then we'll do my settings at the end with a little camera as well. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully it'll all work out. It did not work out on the main computer. I had to do that all camera because HDR gets stuck on again, just like Battlefield 1, but shouldn't have been surprised. But anyway, let's get into the game now, shall we? Well, here we go in Battlefield 5. We're just playing in DirectX 11 mode because 12 was always super stuttery unless they changed it. I mean, this still has some stutters, as you can see, but I swear the other one was like a fucking slideshow. Unless they changed it. If anyone wants me to, me to do the same thing, in DirectX 12 mode, just like in Battlefield 1, I said the same thing. If anyone wants to see me do 12, just let me know, and I don't mind redoing the video in 12, just so you guys can see the comparison. But keep in mind, this is on Ultra here, and we're still getting more than playable FPS. We're honestly getting about the same FPS we get with my settings in Warzone. So that's pretty impressive for, say, considering this game's on Ultra. I think those other settings. I need, oh, that's right. I need to get that from somebody. I'm pretty sure somebody asked to see my settings for that game. Sometimes I get so many requests, I get forgetful. All right, we'll just bleed out real quick. I know somebody might have came and helped me, but I'd rather just chill out. Ah, cool. I can spawn, squad spawn in this one. Maybe you could in the other one, too, but I never got into a game where it was possible in Battlefield 1. All right, let's just run around a little bit here. Ah, that was horrid aim. If I would have had a little better aim, I could have gotten that guy right in the head. Oh, well. We'll just bleed out again real quick. We don't want to waste time that we could be getting for some footage. And then we'll just respawn here with my team. And I should probably honestly just stay with my team, but I keep not staying with my team. Uh-oh. I almost killed myself by spawning with my squad there. Oh shoot, we got snuck up by. One guy just killed like my whole team, my whole squad. That's awesome. All right, well, let's just bleed out again. All my guys are dead. There's no way they're gonna help me. Now there's nothing but enemies swarming our corpses. Well, shit. <laughs> All right, though. I guess let's move on to low, then. All right. So now we're going to try turning everything down to low. Stay maxed out field of view. All that nonsense that I don't like is still turned off. That gets in your way of vision. Vertical sync off this time. And now we're going to try everything here on low. And all right, that's the bottom. So let's get back into the game, shall we? Well, all right, here we go. Competitive settings low. And this might not have worked out since I didn't quit the game for this and mess with the settings. I usually like to do that nowadays, but 
Just like Battlefield 1, not a lot of people are playing this game. There was only like one or two games. Damn, I got fucked up by that guy. But there was only like one or two games and they were like maxed out. Oh, cool, my homie helped me out. Well, let's not die again and have his heals be in vain. But as you can see, the frames are honestly worse than on Ultra. But I didn't want to leave, because, like I was saying, there's not very many people playing this, and I didn't want to sit in a queue again, just like in Battlefield 1, so... These, said, these FPS might be complete bullshit, for all I know. Or maybe I'm getting some CPU bottleneck now. I don't know what's going on, but... Ah, oh, cool, I finally got a kill. Ah, horse shit. You can't see me. I'm crawling. I'm invisible. I'm 100% invisible. I can't be seen. This is nonsense. He's a hacker. Has anyone ever noticed how anyone better than you is a hacker, but anyone that you kill is a noob? I'm sure not everybody does that, but I swear to God, all me and my friends do that all the time. Mostly as a joke. Like, we'll joke around that people are hacking. Every once in a while they will be, but for the most part they're just way better than us and we just joke around that they're hacking. Fuck. The guys just hitting right behind stuff have it a good idea. I should stop running around like it's Call of Duty. That's why I die so much in these games. Battlefield is not Call of Duty. You cannot play them the same. It does not work. I can't deploy quite yet. I wish to deploy. Let me deploy, please. There we go. Now I deploy. Holy shit. Explosions. Log. I shot at a log. Didn't really need to reload, but figure we're behind cover. Might as well reload. Hey, I hit him for three damage. Fuck yeah, take that. Wish I didn't waste my nade. I could throw my nade over there right now. Oh, shit. Ah. I got a kill assist, at least. Well, all right. Now we're going to try out my settings here. But just like I said for low settings, since I didn't leave the game, this might be a bunch of nonsense. Because I swear we were getting better FPS when we were just maxed out. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just freaking seeing shit. But I could have swear we were getting better before. But anyway, we got into the bottom. Let's get back into the game, shall we? Well, all right, here we go. My settings here in Battlefield 5. Okay, we're not getting the highest FPS in the world. It's not like we're getting so low I can't play the game. We're well, well over 60, so that's all I really care about, but. Oh shit. I got blown the fuck up by a frag. Oh, I got revived, how cool. Well, at least they tried. And then we both got blown up. By a fucking plane. <laughs> Alright, this time I'll just bleed out. Fuck it.
All right, let's go over here. All right, well, over here we're getting like hundreds of FPS, so I don't know what's going on with this game right now. It's so wacky. But like I said, it could have been because I didn't quit the game to mess with the settings. I did not want to have to sit in queue and quays again, as Nick would say. I know it's a cute, but he always liked to just play fun and call it a quay. Are you a bad guy? Probably was a bad guy. I heard I could have killed that other guy. How I'm irritated looking back at it. Oh well. You can't win them all. On an outpost. Uh. I'm gonna capture this outpost if I don't get shot. Oh, nope, that's a good guy. Ah, oh, horse shit. Almost captured the thing, but I didn't get the extra points. All right, where shall I spawn? Guess over here. That seems to be a very bad area where I keep getting fucking dominated constantly. So we'll see how well this plays out. I am now the squad leader. That's not a good thing. I'm a terrible squad leader. I got an achievement. <laughs> got him. Ah. Uh, oh well. Let's move on to camera. Right, guys, let's get ourselves a little camera reported gameplay now. Feet. Well, whatever. We'll just keep on going here. No big deal. As long as we're in the game and now it doesn't seem to be getting as weird FPS anymore. It was doing some goofy ass shit before. Alright, well I guess let's just hit continue. And round starting in 40 seconds. I wish I could just pause this recording, like, instead of having to restart it and create a different freaking thing like I do with the capture computer. That would make this easy. I could just pause it for 40 seconds and whatever. But like I said, at least we're getting decent GP performance now. I don't know why. I was doing that shit like it was doing in... Gotham Knights, where it's like, hey, we're going to have your GPU be uh, 800 by Hertz. Have fun with, like, 80 FPS. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> but now all you guys will get to see what his true FPS is. So let's deploy. And get down to business. 
See, we're getting way better than like 80 FPS. Like 60 to 80. All right, now everybody's spawning in. Let's go. You must capture and hold the objectives, as many as you can. a lot in these games. Whatever, we'll just bleed out real quick and respawn. No big deal. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Got to spawn. Got to spawn. Mm, they're shooting about over there. So let's just throw that over there. I see bullets going fucking everywhere, but I don't see nobody. Oh, is there somebody right over there? right in the face. Like point blank. Oh well, he's probably one of those people that just plays a lot. One of the people that could just like just swing their mouse wildly around like that and get like 10 kills. Just because they know the recoil of every single gun and all that good stuff. I barely play this game at all, so if I can even kill a single person or hurt anybody, I'm astonished. face too, but 
whatever. All right, well, I think that's just about enough of that. So let's go wrap this video on up so we can move on to 1440. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Battlefield 5, at least at 1080p anyway. And it seemed to do a pretty good job at ultra. Low was a little weird. Low didn't do very good. And then after that, my settings didn't do very good until I moved over here. So that was kind of random. That's why I'm very glad I do the camera recording gameplay. But in any case, it is now time for us to go over and do the exact same thing on 1440p because that was also requested. So I'm going to go move on to that now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.